everyone and welcome back to a brand new video, I'm your host Deeper Jungle and today I'm going to be doing a video and that's going to be a commentary talking about some of the things that I would like to see in Call of Duty World War 2, so yeah let's get started. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about a couple of different things that I would like to see in Call of Duty World War 2 that Advanced Warfare did really good and a couple of things that Advanced Warfare really didn't do too well in that I would like to see improved in Call of Duty World War 2. Also guys I just want to say something and that is I'm actually starting up my shoutout Monday series again, so if you would like to win a shoutout all you have to do is go and check out the video that I uploaded on Monday talking about what you have to do if you would actually like to get a shout out. Also before we get too far into this video if you are enjoying it don't forget to leave a like on it down below. Let's see if we can get 5 likes on today's video that will be absolutely amazing and with all that out of the way let's actually get right into the list. So the first thing that I want to talk about in today's video and that is going to be the graphics. Now this is something that I'm really looking forward to about Call of Duty World War 2 and that is the graphics because if you actually did not know Advanced Warfare had really good graphics. If you actually own Advanced Warfare on like on the PS4, Xbox One, or PC, if you hop on it right now, you will see that the graphics look really good, and that game was made back in 2014. Now just think what Sledgehammer Games can do in 2017. That's something that's pretty exciting to look forward to, as well as if you actually look at the graphics in the trailer, they look really, really nice. So that's something that's really good, and it is something to look forward to when Call of Duty World War II drops this November. So now I'm going to be moving over to something that I would like to see Sledgehammer Games improve upon, and that's going to be the balance in multiplayer. Now, Advanced Warfare was a good game however one of the big problems with it was the balance was pretty bad when I mean by balance I'm talking about score streaks as well as gun like for example for the first year of advanced warfare the battle 27 of the ASM 1 absolutely destroyed advanced warfare the balance was absolutely horrible and it wasn't until last year that they actually patched those guns so hopefully in Call of Duty 2017 being Call of Duty World War 2 hopefully the balance is actually going to be a lot better so yeah that's something to look forward to and I know that Sledgehammer games got a lot of flack when it comes to the battle 27 and then the ASM 1 when it comes to their balancing. So hopefully they keep that in mind so when they're making Call of Duty World War 2, it should be a lot more balanced game and there should be a lot more weapon variety as opposed to Advanced Warfare. So that's something to really look forward to. And moving on to the next thing, and that's something that I'm actually really looking forward to about Call of Duty World War 2 and I think it's been kind of hinted about and that's going to be the campaign. Now the campaign in Call of Duty World War 2, in my own opinion, I think it's going to be really good because a lot of people are going to like it because it's actually a historical game. If you think think about it for the new Call of Duty games like for example Infinite Warfare Black Ops 3 things like that they're not really set in time like for example for Black Ops 3 it's like these two factions fighting each other that's good and all however it never really happened as opposed to Call of Duty World War 2 since all of their campaign is going to be historically accurate it's going to be a lot more interesting to actually like fight on the beaches of Normandy or the Battle of the Bulge or the Battle of Berlin if you're playing as the Soviets or Okinawa or any place they actually want to fight and it's going to be kind of interesting because when you're you're actually playing it, it's going to have kind of this historical value because you're going to be thinking, I'm holding my M1 Grand on the beaches of Normandy, that is something that actually happened. So I think the campaign in Call of Duty World War 2 is going to be really good and that's something to look forward to about Call of Duty World War 2. And the second last thing that I want to talk about in today's video and that's going to be the supply drops because in my own opinion and I think a lot of people knew this, Call of Duty World War 2 is probably going to have supply drops. Supply drops makes too much money for there not to be in Call of Duty World War 2, however if there's actually going to be supply drops in Call of Duty World War 2, it doesn't mean they have to be bad. I'm hoping that Call of Duty World War 2 has a supply drop system pretty similar to Modern Warfare Remastered because in my opinion, Modern Warfare Remastered has a pretty good supply drop system. You can unlock the things via supply drop, however you can earn the challenges to be able to get the new weapons without opening up supply drops. That's what I'm hoping for about the supply drop system in Call of Duty World War 2. So yeah, that's actually going to be my fourth thing. Now moving on to the last thing that I want to talk about in today's video and that's going to be skill-based matchmaking. Now this is something that I really hope they remove in Call of Duty World War 2 because skill based matchmaking was a really big problem in Advanced Warfare because it really killed the fun of Advanced Warfare in some cases like for example for Call of Duty it's kind of a casual game and a lot of the times you just want to hop on Call of Duty and then just play the game and you don't want to be like trying your hardest all the time and that's something that skill based matchmaking really just kind of kills because it makes sure that you're playing against people of your skill level or a little bit higher all the time as opposed to not having skill based matchmaking it's good because you get to play maybe a couple matches against some really good people then you also get some matches around your people and then you also get some matches about people that are a little bit lower than you and you get a lot more of a variety and makes the game a lot more fun and I know skill based matchmaking I think they're probably going to be removing it because if you remember a lot of people didn't like the skill based matchmaking in advanced warfare as well as when they actually tried to add it into black ops 3 a lot of people did not like that so hopefully sledgehammer games kind of learns from their mistakes and really corrects the things that they didn't really 
would do too well in Advanced Warfare and really keeps the things that they did absolutely amazing in Advanced Warfare so that way they can make Call of Duty 2017 the best Call of Duty game to date. As well as I just want to say I apologize if this video may be a little bit more negative. It's not supposed to be that way. I'm just trying to give you my opinion on things I would really like to see in Call of Duty War 2 and things that I would really like not to see in Call of Duty World War 2. So yeah, that has really been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please remember to leave a like as well as subscribe if you are new. And don't forget to click the bell to get a notification every single time I upload a new video. So that has really been it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Oh,